Welcome back, beautiful beings. Okay, I have this stencil from the Dollar Tree. And I have this bag from Joanne's. And as you can see, it fits perfectly. So what I'm going to do is cut this part off. Okay. Make sure it's straight. Mine's probably not straight. Not too straight. So, then we're going to glue the bottom. But what we're going to do is I like this purple and I was lucky enough find iris wild iris and it's exactly the same color by the time it dries okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to paint not this yeah because i like this way when i cut it because it's kind of crooked but i kind of like it okay so it's going to fit like this to the bottom to the top like that and i kind of like that cut I guess it looks good on this side. It probably looks better on this side. No, nope, it looks better on that side. So we're not going to paint this color. Or this <laughs> this side. We're just going to glue this side down. Okay? But to make it stiff. And then I'm going to paint all this. And then the sides. Okay? Okay, beautiful beings. This just got a slightly complicated. I thought the paint would thicken that up. Or make it stiffer. And it's not. So I took a piece in the back and I lined it up to make sure it would fit in and what I'm gonna do is stick that in here and I'm gonna glue it in okay and I'm gonna do the same thing on the front because I don't think that's gonna be stable enough Okay, I got this piece. This is a piece of just regular print paper, thin, and I wanted it thin. But see where that's ripping right there? So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna wrap it around like that. I don't have to worry about the rip. Boy, am I making it work. Okay, so right there's a the rip. I'm gonna do that. And I probably didn't need that big of a piece, but it's fine. And that will be glued down to hold that so it doesn't rip more. All right, this in there. Like that. Okay. So I'm going to put glued in there nicely. I'm going to show this one glued in there nicely. Then, I'm going to start painting. Let's finish this one first. The front of this one. I hope I'm not confusing you guys. <laughs> I'm showing you, so... I wanted to show you instead of just doing it, because... I figured if I showed you, you wouldn't get confused. If I told you, maybe. I'm gonna just take some paint. And you don't even have to go all the way down. But you gotta keep these separated while it's drying because they will stick. 
And I wanted to show you, like when the paint is wet, just go like this. That's all you gotta do. And then you get a design like that when it's dry, okay? It's up to you if you wanna do it or not. But that's what I'm doing. Okay, beautiful beings. This is all dry. Use two different colors of the bag, Joanne bag. Okay, and then I made a little moon up here. All I did was take <laughs> some chili powder like that. I took a pencil, went around it, traced it, colored it in black, colored it in white, and then I did more white because it kept turning gray, so I did more white. So now we got a little moon up in the corner. Now, I'm gonna put this bag down like that. I'm just gonna glue it down. Probably don't need to see me film that, but that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll put stuff on here to hold it down. Okay. Hey beautiful beings, I got some heavy gusso, I got my stencil, and I got tape down. Okay, open this up, and I got my little scraper thing to apply it. So let's see how this goes. I want to make sure I get some in all the grooves and put a heavy amount down. Okay. It's only been a couple minutes, but I don't want it to start drying, so I scrape what's left on the stencil up. So I'm gonna be very careful peeling this tape off, not to move the stencil. And there we go. It's kind of thick in spots, but that's okay. All right, now I gotta clean the stencil. <laughs> okay, beautiful beans. Let's do this one. I'm gonna start out with a black, because this one I'm gonna do different.
I want some of this in the chimneys. This purple is basically just our backdrop color. Because I'm going to add different colors in there. I wanted to add this in here. Define chimneys more. And I'm going to let this dry because I do not want to mix the other colors in with that. And then I'll be back. Okay, it's dry. Let's continue. Lots of this purple in. I think that's good. I think I like it just the way it is. But I think I'm gonna add, where's my black paint? So I'm gonna take my toothpick and just put a little bit of black on them. And then we're gonna very carefully go boop, boop, look at that goes. Boop, boop, there you go. All right, I think that's done. I like it the way it is. Okay, beautiful beings. I added some yellow to the moon. I put some black and gray creepy cloth along that, and then purple, that we colored creepy cloth, and some purple on the bottom, okay? Okay, beautiful beings, we're gonna make a little notebook. So what we're gonna do is line this up. Make sure you save these, okay? Because they make really good holders for notes to make a notebook. Okay, right, I'm going to line that up here I'm using scraps. These are all scrap papers and I'm going to cut that off. Then I want to put this over this, but it's too long. I don't like it all the way down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some of that off like that. Okay, then I'm going to take some nutmeg, oh I got to do that afterwards, right, 
this is what I want to do. I'm going to glue this to that, but the other pumpkins will be upside down on the other side. So I could probably just take a piece to cut it off. Or you can use fabric. I think I might use fabric. Hang on. Alright. I got this piece. I'm going to cut it off. And put a little bit away from it. And I'm going to glue it to that. But I want some of the ends to fray. I'm gonna glue that down to that. And I'm gonna use Elena's because it's not so moisturized as Mod Bodge is. That should be enough. Now we're gonna. Is that the right side? No. I thought this was kind of Halloween color. I probably should not this way. Over a little bit, like that. Put that under. All right. Let me take these. So I got different papers of scrap in here. So these are all papers that are scraps. Okay. And this piece needs to go up. I just put it in the back because it was wider than the other ones. Don't go like this. Make sure they're all lined up. Knock them into place. Stay. <laughs> okay, I got the stapler. I'm going to take the stapler. Staple these. That. And then I'm going to put this down here. Make sure it's hugging that crease. Flip it over and voila. A notebook. Okay? Easy peasy. Okay, beautiful beans. I might dodge this cardstock down, all of it, and then went around the edges with the same paint paints that I used on this side. Okay. And also went around this with one of the paints and these. Okay. I'm going to glue this pocket down right here. I have a video cutting these. My first video ever. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I just played music. That was my first, very first video. I right, own it about here. And I want to make sure it's in the middle. I'm going to hold it a minute. So that takes. That looks like it's in the middle. Delete now. Okay, the die cut is from Stitch. Stitch Slots Pocket Set. Maddie's Crafting Joy. Okay, and that's what you get. You get this with the three pockets, top, middle, bottom, and then this, so you can glue these things on, okay? But these are the die cuts you get with it, okay? And I think that one piece is kind of swaying down and not wanting to glue right there, so I'm just gonna help it to make sure it does. Okay, and then I got pumpkin, pumpkin, and this, and I put the paint around that because the reason I did that with this and those is because, as you can see, it kind of blends right in together and I wanted to separate it. So that's why I put the paint on the edges just a little bit. All right, so let's get this glued down and I'm gonna use Elena's for this. Elena's. Besides <laughs> what? It's double sided cardstock. The stuff I got from Joanne's haul. That video, if you watched it, I got it really cheap. 
I was so happy because I didn't have any fall cardstock. straight I think it is and it's over enough I can't lift it up because I got all these tags sitting in here make sure everything's glued down good and I'm done with the glue so I'm gonna put the lid on oh I didn't put the lid on this glue and we have to on this one this one dries up quick really quick That don't even look like it's straight, but I can't move it now. It looks like it's going, I don't know. I gotta quit looking at it. All right, we got this. That's what we're looking at. See, I'm getting easily distracted. <laughs> That's all right, right there, I think. All right, now I make these tags. You slip in here. These are die cuts. Okay. I want the black fire, because I think I made this one. No, I didn't even know I had a black one. Well, we'll just stick it in here for now. I wanted to show you how the pockets work. All right. This might be too long. But these are double-sided. That's why I like double-sided cardstock. And see, that matches that too much. So I think I'm gonna flip it to that side. And then I got this and I just sewed or glued that on because there's nothing on that side and I don't like ribbon it using ribbon like that so I always stick something on the other side of it <laughs> so it's not so plain I'm gonna put that through there I was letting it dry while I was doing the other video or doing the other stuff I like the keys because there's like the keys to the, the haunted house. <laughs> All right, I'm done looking with that. And that goes back there. I'm gonna turn you sideways. So you can get a full view. And this, a little notebook we made, fits perfectly down in here and the papers do not curve up because I checked that. Okay, so there you go. Probably, well, let me get the camera out of there. Hey, beautiful beings. There it is. And the reason I chose like a fall, but dark fall, is because, you know, you have to even out the darkness and the light, right? So, I wanted light. And this is fun. <laughs> okay? But this is the bottom of the bag we made that out of i just want to show you it can fit big pictures or big you, you can even make like a little notepad in there and put it in there that would be good too i was just showing you that fits in there okay i think i did a close-up of this but not when it was done so we're going to go up this side and then we're going to go down this side Everyone has a wonderful Halloween.